Hey, what's good everyone? It's Austin or Luna here. In today's video, I'm just going to talk about some, some awkward shit I saw. And this was actually super recent. A lot of the videos lately have been recent stories. And I haven't been saving this shit. I wasn't originally going to talk about this because personally, it was just kind of like, I don't even think cringy is the right word to use. I just saw this and I was like, dude, that's fucking gross. Plus, I was super tired. I stayed up for like two days. I was out of it. And I just like saw this and was like, oh, that's pretty fucking weird. And then I got yelled at and just, I'm going to tell the story right now, but I'm just warning you guys now, like, it's kind of fucking weird and just one of those awkward stories. It definitely takes the cake for one of the higher up awkward stories. And there's a lot of experiences now that I think about it that are like really fucking awkward and just, I should honestly make a playlist and just name it gross. Like, that's what I should do. But anyway, I'm going to start this. So in the past few weeks, I've had very, very unlucky stuff going on with me and I've had to like come home from New York City early. I had to go to the hospital and like just bullshit and I talked about it on Snapchat but hospitals suck so much fucking dick like just sitting in a room for six hours and watching the Disney channel was not the highlight of my week but anyway this happened the day after I came back from NYC and I was like really really fucking tired I didn't sleep for like two days I was traveling and I was sick and I just got home and I just was feeling like pretty much dick and I had to go to the post office to pick shit up because I missed a bunch of packages while I was in New York City so I walked up to the post office, it's like a two mile walk, it was like 2.30pm, nice day out, you know, just a normal fucking day where I live, I walk up to the post office, I walk in, sit in the line for like 30 minutes, finally get up to the front, everyone's staring at me because I probably look like a legit zombie, and I get up there, talk to the lady, tell her that like, I was on like a trip basically, and I missed all these packages, and I'm here to pick them up, she's like, yeah, sure, we got them. This motherfucking girl brings out like three packages, puts them in my hand, and it literally feels like there's a bunch of dead fucking hippos inside. I literally was like, dude, what the fuck are these? These are so heavy. So I walk out of the post office. I'm probably on the verge of dying at this point. And I'm walking through the parking lot. And there was like one car, like one car in the very back of the parking lot that I walked past on the way in, like the back of it. But since I was on the way out this time, I was going by the front. And I realized the window is down in the driver's seat. And there's a dude like sitting in the driver's seat. And his girl is on top of him. And I quickly, just, it snapped in my head. I was like, it's 2.30 p.m. It's a fucking post office. Why are you having sex in a post office parking lot? And it seems like they weren't even being secretive about it whatsoever. Like this girl had her arm on top of the car. Like the window was open. Her arm was out of the car, like grabbing onto the top of the car, squeezing it. Because like, I guess this dude was just going fucking in. And I'm just like, is this a prank? I was like, is this just my sickness? Like, am I hallucinating this? Is this it? Like, am I fucking dying? And then I kind of like started walking away because, you know, I didn't want them to see me. But as I'm walking away, this girl like leans her head out the window and she's like, hey. And I turn around and I'm looking at her. And it was very creepy because she was still on her boyfriend's lap in the driver's seat. And like her head is out the window. So it's like a weird angle. It looked creepy. It looked like she was one of those like possessed bitches from a scary movie or something like turning her neck around or something. But I looked at her and she's just like, keep walking. I was like, uh. Okay, I plan to. I'm just carrying these heavy boxes. And I start walking. She's like, yep, keep going. And I'm just walking away with my back turned to them, just thinking, like, why? Why a fucking post office? Of all places, let's fuck in my car at the post office. Like, what possesses a couple to do that? Like, does the smell of mail make you horny or some shit? Like, oh, fucking envelopes. I'm so wet. Anyway, I walk out of this fucking parking lot and I turn around, like, I could still see their car. And it's like literally going up and down. And I was like, okay. I've seen enough for today. I think I'm actually dying. And I just went home and I just rested because I was so fucking out of it. There was actually a point in the middle of this whole situation where I actually thought I was hallucinating. I was like, dude, there's no way of all places I would see this. It'd be a fucking post office. But yeah, <laughs> that was it. I like literally went home. I rested. Eventually kind of got better. And now we're here. And it's like, I'm still fucking asking why the post office? What is so good and sexual about post offices and mail? Like, a parking lot of a post office. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of that story. I could have fucking stayed there and argued with the girl about her telling me to keep walking, but to be honest, she was doing me a favor by telling me that. And yeah, that's the end. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd really love to hear some of your fucking awkward stories or just weird shit you've seen at weird places that you wouldn't expect to see that stuff in the comments, because I'm, I'm really curious. Like, what have you guys seen? And yeah, I guess leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Straight, my boss is a fucking bitch Matter of fact, you can tell that hoe I fucking quit I just got a dollar for a raise, what the fuck is this? I can make more money on the train, doing fucking flips Barely got enough to go and break, eat some fucking chips And you always wonder why I'm late for my fucking shift I don't smile enough, I know, my shirt's never tucked, I know You should write me up, 
I don't give a fuck about emails, about retail when I'm not at work and I'm